Hello, my lovelies. So let's see what's going on in your love life. Let's see what messages Spirit has for us and what do we need to know. All right, we're going to start with a love deck since it's a love reading. What do we need to know from Spirit this week? What messages do we have for my singles, couples, couples in separation, twin flames, and soulmates? Take what fits, leave the rest. Somebody is hiding their feelings. They might be hiding behind a mask, unable to express how they feel. They could also be diluting you or gaslighting you. You might not want to deal with a certain specific person. Why? Well, there could have been a falling out. There could have been some issues going on. Some boundaries are needed. Someone's still angry, so they might not want to talk. You might have made this person feel like they're not enough or someone in your life did, and so that might have lasting effects. We do need to let go of these issues, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, jealousy, fear, or ego issues. Start operating in your heart space, and then you will see changes quick like lightning. Could happen sudden or shockingly. These might cause a little bit of conflict, upheaval, a surprise, or an epiphany could be waiting. There could be a breakup also or some separation going on. I do feel like someone's giving giving you the silent treatment and you might be dealing with a breakup, it's time to stop the pattern. Someone might be reminiscing or looking at your photographs. I feel like this person is longing for you, missing you, and they would like to make some new memories potentially with you or with another person. What else do we need to know? The Spirit says if it's worth it to you, you're going to try and do the work and give your relationship a chance. You may need to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations in order to actually discuss these things. So talk openly and honesty, honestly with your person in order to get to a new beginning or a fresh start with your new person. It will be required that you guys talk about these things that aren't working. For some of you, you are in a period of separation from your person. And for others of you, you're calling in a soulmate. So using things Things like manifesting law of attraction, you are calling in a soulmate. You're looking for marriage, so I feel like for those of you that that is your goal, that you want to settle down, that you want to get married, that that is possible, but it's going to take work to get there, so somebody is going to be getting married. It may require you to release an ex, so if you're still holding on to an ex's energy, it's time to let those things go and clear and release your energy. What do they need to know this week about love? What's happening for my collective for love? All right, the Knight of Cups. So a new person potentially is coming in, someone who's chivalrous, affectionate, somebody who's loyal and trustworthy. The only issue with this Knight is that he lacks a little bit of confidence and courage. Once he finds that, things definitely start to change for the better. He will find it. He will come forward. You have to give him some time. I feel like he might not even be on your radar for some of you. This could be someone you haven't quite met yet, but this is somebody that intends to come forward and speak their peace once they find the person they're looking for. Be willing to walk away from the things that don't serve you this week. No matter what it is, it's time to walk away from something that can't be fixed and it can't be solved in order to get to your peace. We have the emperor in reverse. Watch out for somebody who's being really reckless, really petty, immaturity, somebody who likes to dominate the situation by using things like anger. So if they're really rigid, it's my way or the highway, it may not be the right fit for you. Page of Cups in reverse. Again, um, there could be some jealousy. There could be somebody that's kind of obsessed with you at this point. And I feel like there's also a lot of immaturity. This could be the same person, the Emperor and the Page of Cups. I normally wouldn't say that, but honestly, the energy is the same. They're both in reverse. They're both petty. They're both immature. There could also be a lot of jealousy going on. It could have stemmed from some sort of childhood problems. All right, we have the Queen of Coins in the reverse. Really be cautious with being unorganized or jealous or possessive issues this week. I feel like there could also be some manipulation going on. We want to walk away from those situations or we need to have a strong conversation and set some strong boundaries. I feel like that is where you find the justice. It could come through the courts, could be in a contract, but I do feel like you're looking for harmony, equality, and balance. So know that there is something that is going to have justice kind of intervene and restore the balance in order to restore the harmony. All right, what else do they need to know for love this week? 
You do have a wish fulfillment coming in. The star is telling you that it happens in divine timing, but your prayers, wishes, affirmations, all of those manifestations have been heard and they have been received. There could be incoming communication or there needs to be who's not telling how they actually feel, who's not discussing their feelings openly and honestly. That's something that needs to change. So if you are unable to communicate, that might be where you need to start. Remember, some heart-to-heart -heart conversations are needed. We have the emperor in reverse and we have the empress in the upright. I feel like the divine feminine is standing in her power. So if you're a twin flame on the journey, I feel like this is telling you, keep going with your goals and your dreams. He's going to have to sort his stuff out on his end, and you're going to have to do your part on your end. I do feel like there could be some pregnancy announcements. I also feel like things are ripe for you to create some things that you want, so nurture what you want to grow. Bottom of the deck, we have confusion. There's been a falling out somewhere. There's been some sort of discord, and I feel like a lot of petty arguments, and so that leads to confusion. Somebody's not sure how to restore the balance, what to say, how to say it, and so I feel like that leaves both of you in a confused state of what to do going forward. You can't juggle forever. You're going to need to find the balance. So let go of the things that don't serve you. It was just 555 five, five on the timer. I feel like in order to restore the balance, something needs to change. This could be something going on within a union, um, specifically a marriage, that things are at an imbalance. And so we need to have um, equal give and take. We need to share the workload. It takes both people to make a relationship actually work. But I do feel like you could have a happy union. We have the wedding card. We have the two of cups. Definitely tells us that there could be some positive changes coming in for union. Let's get one more of these. And then we're going to see if it's your person that's coming through with the energy. All right. The tower says we need some change. And the number I was seeing was 555. The tower is symbolic for massive transformative energy coming in. Again, it could happen sudden and shocking like lightning. The butterflies are symbolic for change and transformation. And the squirrels on the card indicate that you need to be prepared for any sort of outcome. So not to scare anybody, we don't do fear mongering over here, but be prepared for change that happens sudden and shockingly, but it helps to restore the balance. If there's any sort of deception, it's also going to be illuminated that things are going to come to light. So watch out for jealous people, liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, and untrustworthy worthy people. Best advice is to have boundaries. Second best advice would be to eliminate them out of your life altogether. You do have a new opportunity coming in, things for abundance. So if you're looking for a new job, that is potentially what's also coming in. All right, let's see. Is it your person? Is this reading about you and your person? Show me who this reading is for. Someone with brown eyes, letter X, freckles on the face, Aquarius or an air sign, junk food junkie, loves to read old books, well-dressed, suits, dresses, or business professional, fashion-colored hair, blonde hair, drives a truck, letter Y, brown hair, listens to rock or alternative, letter A, crafty or artistic, extrovert, outspoken, driven, and ambitious. Husband, we did have the wedding card and we also had the two of cups. Could be a Leo or a fire sign, owner of a small business, Gemini or air sign, facial piercings, red hair, button nose, J, hiker likes the outdoors, non smoker, T, a smoker, non smoker, polar opposites, drives a sports car, Pisces or a water sign, R, straight hair, boyfriend, thin lips, E, Listens to rap, loves to go fishing, hiking, and camping, letter D, dimples in the chin, Capricorn or earth sign, short under five foot, somebody has a crazy ex, one of you has kids, your crush, best friend, BFF, loves to sing, cancer or water sign, listens to country, shy, quiet, introvert, and a deep thinker, can't dance, glasses or sunglasses, Average height 5'5 five, five to 5'10. Five, Somebody has a large dog, plays video games, Sag or fire sign, silver in the hair, small nose, hazel eyes. That's what I have for you, my lovelies. Have a wonderful day.